Uh, that's, that's, it. It. that's it. That's gotta be it. Here, there it is. There, there, there. Wow, you guys. That is an 800 year old church. It's made of wood and it's been around for 800 years. Isn't that crazy? Mom, it's creepy. It's so cool. Well, the main construction of the church, which is original, dated back to 1180 approximately, which makes the building 830 years old. So wood can last eight centuries? Yeah, this will be the proof. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't wood supposed to be like a, an ephemeral material? It, it seems, it, mm. well, what's the secret? The secret is church is built on foundation of stones. I see. So it doesn't have any contact with wet soil. Also, one of the main reasons why the church has been lasting so long here is because in this valley, the climate is uh, very dry, cold. It's actually one of the driest places in Norway. We don't have any much rain, any Insects problem, bugs, we don't have them. We can go close down here. Some of the roof shingles are more pointed, sharp edged, they are new. You see the difference? You see, yeah. these so ones are new and this one. Some of these dated back even 600 years. Yeah, when we changed out some roof tiles in 2012. And you found some that were... Yeah. Fishing. Can you believe this church is 800 years old? 800 And made of wood. Does wood last? It can last. Mom. Some of it's been replaced a little bit, but a lot of it's the same. But where's the church? Inside. You want to peek through the hole? When and was uh, the last time there was a service here? <laughs> we still <laughs> used it today. No. Oh. I mean, most people think of wood as just this kind of temporary <laughs> material. Yeah, also they had a unique technique to uh, make the tree much more hard. They dried the tree on the root, so the, all the sap did extract to the outside of the tree, almost. So let the outside dry first? Yeah, they dried it on the root, so while all the sap was extracted. While it was still... On the root. Like the roots were in the ground? Yeah, and then the wood became very hard. So is this a testament to the idea that wood could be used more often? Well, the problem is the people who did it, art of doing this uh, wood this way, building with wood this way, it's mm. lost. Not, they don't know how to do it? No, it's, uh, well, people try, but uh, you don't get it right on. Also, some people mean that the wood back then was better because the climate was different. We had uh, long winters, for example, maybe, and then the tree would grow really slow and make the trees stronger. That's one theory. So, well, it's difficult to say exact why. You guys want to peek through the hole? So, to preserve it, we still have to put on the tar as well, every four or five years. The color is black because of the tar we put on. And you will get the sense of burnt when you're standing next to the church. It doesn't smell good, like... Uh, smell. It smells like burnt wood. It's not the tar we get from the oil. It's a wooden-based tar. You extract the uh, sap from a tree and you mix it with ash. When it's recently done the tarring, we smell the burnt smell in a big area around here. Well, the bell tower here is quite special too. Oh yeah? Because it's, it's actually the only one left standing in Norway, made in wood from the Middle Ages. It's built to serve the state church. So when it was a ceremony, they would uh, ring the bells here. We have some uh, carvings on the church. It's uh, very, very old carvings. It's four circles. They were the symbol of the four evangelists. And also you have the single circle uh, right above them. It 
kind of looks like a tree. You have the pole going up and you have the veins going out. So, well, from Christianity, you have the tree of life. And also in Norse mythology, you have the uh, tree called Yggdrasil. But the thing is, the Viking area was pretty much over when the state churches began to be built here. But people hold on to the traditions. It wasn't like a light switch to become a Christian. It took a lot of time. And some historian means that uh, almost took 400, 300 years, maybe, before they stopped using these Norse signs. And <laughs> so that's from the time of the sagas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's quite amazing. Yeah. I mean, it has so many resemblances to, you know, legends. Our uh, idea of the masses, uh, the idea they have of the ancients, right? So yeah. You see this and some, somehow you can picture all tales you've been told. Or... Wow. <laughs>